Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now before performing any troubleshooting steps, first of all, make sure that you have graphic card which is supported to play the game. If the, if the graphic card is not supported, you will receive a lot of errors. Now the next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to uninstall anti-cheat expert and then launch the game. So you can go to the game installation folder. So go to the launcher, click on game settings and then select manage and then click on open installation directly, which will take you to the game installation folder. Now, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on browse local files. I don't have the game on Steam, so I'm showing you a different game. This is just an example. So once you go to the game installation folder, now open AB infinite folder. Now open the binaries folder, win64 and then open anti-cheat expert folder and over here you will see ace setup 64 so make a double click click on yes to allow and then this will uninstall anti-cheat expert continue do not uninstall on game running or may lose connection so click on yes and once it is un uninstall is complete now once uninstall is complete now you can launch the game and when you launch the game during the launch it will install anti-cheat so here you can see anti-cheat expert it is installing right now. so during the install it will install it and then it will launch the game and you should be able to launch the game so over here you see uh, the game is launching now and that should fix the problem. Let me close the game for now. Now, the next step is to create a backup of movies folder and empty the movies folder. Now for this, again, go to the game installation folder. And this time, when you go to the game installation folder, open AB infinite folder, and then open the content folder and over here you will find the movies so you can create a backup of movies folder if you want so you can just copy this file and you can maybe paste it to the desktop now once you have the backup over here now you can delete this you can delete the content of movies folder you can delete these videos or you can simply delete the movies folder and then launch the game and then check if you have any trouble you can always put it back now the next step is to delete the save game files now before you delete the save game files and config file let me inform you you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you, only if you agree you can go to file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open the users folder now open your username folder now open the app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open the local folder scroll down and over here you can see ab infinite folder you can delete this folder make a right click and then you can click on delete once it is deleted now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to disable overlay now for this now, if you have the game on Steam, you can just make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Now, if you have like overlay like Discord running, you can turn off the overlay in Discord, or you can turn off the overlay in GeForce Experience, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game and then check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Also, close all the overclocking applications. So, also, if you have overlay on in MSI Afterburner, Turn off overlay in MSI Afterburner or do not overclock and close all the overclocking application. Also, if you have OBS running like me, you can close OBS and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices like if you have HOTAS, pedals, wheel connected to the computer. Disconnect all the USB devices, USB adapter, USB dongle which you are not using. Also, if you have any kind of extra controller, sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Also, if you have like any kind of virtual controller, you can uninstall it and then launch the game. Also, remove the undervolt if you have undervolted the computer. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now, for this, again, go to the game installation folder. So, 
wherever the game you install, open the game installation folder and then op open AB Infinite Binaries Win64. Scroll down, here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to the go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working in that case you can put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work do the same thing with this exe file make a right click and then go to this tab put a check over here hit apply click on ok if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game again that does not work select windows 7 hit apply click on ok you can even put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check now the next step is to but still not working like when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok go up and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click properties and then uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to now, if you're using any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, I'm not using any third-party antivirus. I'm using Windows Security. So if you're using Windows Security like me, you can open Windows Settings. Go to Privacy and Security. If you have Windows 11 in Windows 10, click on Update and Security and then click on Windows Security. Now click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down. At the end, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow and then click on Add an Allowed App. Browse all apps and then go to the Game Installation Folder and then open the game folder. So in my case, it's in C drive, open the game folder, open AB infinite binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now open this, select this exe file, then click on open. Also type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the exe file game loader open click on add in my case it is already added i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse and this time select the second exe file then click on open now click on add now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to repair or verify the game file so go to launcher click on game settings and then click on repair now once the repair is complete now you can launch the game and then check if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification you can launch the game and then check Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. Do not ignore this. If you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your product type. For me, it's GeForce Experience. So make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here. And then if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. And this will be Game Ready Driver. And then click on Search. And then click on Download. And then click on Download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file. And then click on Yes to Allow. And then click on Agree and Continue. And then select Custom Option. And then click on Next. Now. Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. 
and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder ab infinite binaries win64 select this game loader exe file and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added click on the game and then click on options select high performance over here and then click on save do the same thing with the second exe file click on browse and then select this ua game and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added again you have to click on the game and then select high performance now the next step is to connect the in case if you have a desktop in that case connect the hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card like you can your computer if you have a dual graphic card in that case sometimes you connect the cable your hdmi cable or display cable to the motherboard which has the integrated the inbuilt intel card so do not plug the card to the motherboard slot just connect the cable to the graphic card slot a slot like nvidia graphic card slot or amd graphic card slot and then launch the game and then check next step is to roll back graphics driver now if the latest driver does not work you can go to go to the website and roll back graphics driver so nvidia users can go to this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to nvidia website now over here select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select right operating system right graphic card and then click on start search and then scroll down the latest graphic card driver GeForce Game Ready Driver is 560.81. You can try this GeForce Game Ready Driver 560.70 or maybe the previous one 556.12. Click on Get Download. Download the file. But when you install it, make sure that you go for put a check on the box which says Perform a Clean Installation. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now for AMD users, you can go to AMD website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card this is just an example now select your operating system and if if the latest one i have selected the wrong graphic card let me select the right one select the right graphic card this is just an example i don't have amd graphic card and then over here, once you click on it, click on previous driver. Do not click on the operating system. Click on previous driver and then click on your operating system. The latest one, I think this is 24.6.1. You can try 24.5.1 or maybe 24.4.1. So try the older version, download it. And first of all, uninstall the previous driver and then install this new driver, the older driver, and then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so if you if you have windows 11 make sure that you have right now the latest version i have the latest version so type in winver that is w i n v e r in windows search box and here version 23h2 so update it to 23h2 so you can open windows update go to update and security and then click on windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then check you can even use this windows 11 installation assistant to update your windows 11 so go to this website download windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and if your windows is not up to date you will see update option or install option and after that restart your computer and then launch the game in my case it's, it's already up to date now the next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download x86 and x64 so download both the file x86 and then run this exe file and then click on yes to allow now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and download this x64 file as well x64 you have to install both the files and again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete
in my case this is already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer so after this click on restart restart is a must after this restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can simply uninstall the game after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on a windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel